everyone, it's Lisa here. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy method you can use to remove the background of your digital watercolor painting so that you can use your motif in a pattern design um, or ready for sale or anything of that nature. It's a super easy method and I hope you find it useful. The first important thing you need to do is make a duplicate of your watercolor painting. We'll be flattening the file, so it's important that you actually have a copy of your original. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that, and I'm just swiping to the left and hitting duplicate. And opening it up. Just two important things I want to mention before we get started. We could easily turn off the paper effects layer and the background to get our background to be transparent but the problem with that is that we lose all that lovely texture the paper texture and the watercolor detail so we actually want to retain that and the other thing to mention is watercolor brushes are translucent like they are kind of in real life so um, we want to have a white backing to our illustration so it's important to create a white background for that so that that's actually going to be merged together um, it, for example, with this butterfly, I'm going to merge a white background and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Our next step is to flatten the artwork. So I'm simply just going to pinch all my layers together and make sure if you are using clipping masks like I have over here, in, you'll see quite a few layers, make sure that you're actually pinching all of those together at once because if you don't do that, what's going to happen, it's going to kind of leave off some of the clipping areas and, and some are going to be included so it's not going to look right. So make sure that you squeeze all of those layers together all at once. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm starting from layer 10 all the way down to layer 11. And just using two fingers, I'm just pinching together. Oops, I missed one. So I'm just going to pinch those together. The next important thing to do is to duplicate our drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And working on the one underneath, coming over to the little magic wand icon, I'm going to go to U and Saturation, choosing Layer and bring the brightness all the way down so that it's black, as, as black as we can get it. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that black one. And then I'm going to flatten those two together. So I'm just going to merge down. And now our next step is to add a white background. This is a super important step, as I mentioned previously. So don't miss the step out. This is my pencil layer that I don't need. So I'm just going to clear that coming over to my colors making sure that I have white selected and I'm just simply going to drag and drop and that's full that layer 21 as a white background which is exactly what we want so I'm just going to move it up to the butterfly so the next thing we want to do is actually merge the paper and the effects with the butterfly and the white background so for now I'm, I'm ignoring that black butterfly that I created so I'm just going to unlock my paper effects and expand that layer and then doing what I did previously, I'm going to pinch all of them together. So now we're left with our flattened artwork and we still have our black butterfly, which is going to be our selection that we're going to use. So I've got my layer selected. I'm going to choose select and then coming over to my selection menu at the bottom, I'm going to choose invert. Coming up to our artwork that we flattened. Using three fingers, I'm just swiping down on my canvas to bring up the copy and paste menu and I'm choosing cut. And that's basically taken away the background, which is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to turn that dark layer off and the background color off and you see we have a clipped butterfly. What I want to do is I just want to intensify the color because you'll see it's just slightly uh, translucent. It's still translucent and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is duplicate that artwork and then merge that down. So that's basically intensified our layer and made it less translucent. So just turning that background off, that's much better. And then you have all those delicate details are um, etched out and you didn't have to go in and spend hours etching out your work. The butterfly is now ready for you to save as a transparent PNG, which you can use in your commercial projects or any other project you prefer. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.